Before we start configuring and building out our Craft Commerce site, let's first take a tour of Craft Commerce and just see what it can do and how things are set up. You access Craft Commerce through the control panel via the Commerce menu item that is added once we install the plugin. And when we click on that, we are defaulted to the orders overview. And this overview shows us uh, some revenue charts here. Of course, this is a new store, so we have no revenue right now, but it allows us a quick glance of how our store is doing. We can also view orders by status. We have a processing status and a ship status and get an overview. We can also look at active carts and inactive carts. And just like you can when you're looking at craft entries for different sections, we can customize these table columns and what appears on the sidebar here and add new headings. So this is all customizable here. And this is our nice overview of the store. Now to get into products, this is going to show us all of our different products. Craft Commerce comes by default with some sample products so there's a little bit of information and content in the interface. And we can look and see that it has some products here. Now, if you're familiar with Craft CMS, the first thing you'll notice is that this looks a lot like the entry listing for all of my sections. Well, it, it does. It's almost exactly the same, with the difference being that entries are listed up here and the products are listed here and never shall the two mix or meet. They are kept completely separate and there will be no confusion about what a product is and what an entry is and you'll never have to create an entries section for your products. So these are the products. Craft has different product types and here is just one product type right now called clothing and then it sorts out the different products by the type. If I click on a product, I get a familiar looking view where I can then edit the product. Now you can see that this product only has a title right now, but on the right side, we have some product specific fields like tax category, shipping information, whether it can be promoted via sales, uh, a SKU, a price, stock, quantity, uh, any dimensions and any weights. So we know now that we are in some commerce specific uh, stuff here, even though this looks very much like a typical entry, edit, or publish field, even down to having a live preview so we can preview our products before we publish them. There's also the ability to do promotions in craft commerce, and promotions take on two different types. There's sales and then discounts. So sales, when we create a new sale, you can name the sale, give it a description, enable it, and then set up some conditions like start date, end date, any user groups that are required, like maybe a certain uh, group of members in your on your site can have access to the sale. Any product types can go here, like clothing, or any product. So this is where you set the parameters for the sale. And then there is an action here where you can set up the discount type, like flat or percent, or the discounted amount. So the nice thing about a sale is that you can do a sale on a whole swath of products, a whole section of products, and not just have to do that individually. The other part of promotions are the discounts. You can create a new discount, and when you create the discount, you have the ability to give it a coupon code. So you can create a discount for 20% off for students and give it a coupon code. You can also create conditions just like we could with sales, the same types of conditions. And then same thing with the amounts. We can have a base discount, a per item discount, or a percent discount. So we have the ability to very easily create promotions for our products, both by doing a sale and also doing a discount. The last part of the Craft Commerce plugin are the settings. And this is what we're going to get into in just a few minutes as we configure the site. But this is where you set your store-wide settings, things like fields, looks familiar, doesn't it? Statuses, we can configure the emails that go out. We can also configure any of the payment methods that we accept. 
and the product types that we were just looking at before. And we can set up countries and states and then the tax information with categories, zones, and rates if we are selling things that uh, require very close guidance on tax collection. And so that is the basic framework of craft commerce. That's everything that you need to develop a fully fledged, fully functional, really powerful e-commerce site using craft commerce. Now let's go back to the front end. We are at our site URL slash commerce, and this gives us those templates that we copied into the template directory. Now, if you remember when I was going through, I added something into my cart. So let's go ahead and take a look at our cart. Here it is right here. And there's options here as well that we can choose. We can increase or decrease the quantities and then update that. And we could empty the cart or add a coupon code. Now these templates are meant for demonstration purposes only. Um, they have a lot of information here. You may not need all of these different items for the, uh, the price, but it is a nice way of seeing how it works. So let's go ahead and check out. If we were already logged into the site, the first step to checking out is confirming or adding a shipping address. If we're not logged in, we will be asked whether we want to log in or check out as a guest. So we can put in our name and our shipping address and all the information like the country and the state. And we also can check use the same for billing or not. And we'll use the same, confirm the address. And now we're in the next step of the checkout process, which is shipping. I'm gonna choose free shipping. And all this is customizable in the control panel where we can set up our different shipping types. And this version lets me select my payment method. I'm going to just use dummy since we're just in test mode here. And then we can put in a card number and I'm just gonna put in a card number for success. And we can just put in any expiration date and any CVV and we can pay. Oh, looks like my credit card number is invalid. So let's check that. It should be 4929. There we go. And we'll pay now. And when the payment is successful, we're brought to a order confirmation page and it has all the information about our order. We can even download a PDF receipt that Kraft will generate for us automatically. And then all is done. And I can also go and look at my orders and see a full listing of my orders. So this is the basic flow for uh, using Kraft Commerce. We're gonna build something uh, very similar to this and I'll talk about that in a minute when we look at the site we'll build in this course.